and today guys we're gonna be talking about this wig that's on my head but before we hop into any of that make sure to click that subscribe button and bell notification if you're new it's your first time watching me here so you don't miss out on any more of my videos so it's been a long time coming. I've been getting a lot of questions about this wig and I've never had a chance to actually really do a video on this unit. So I'm really sorry about the delay, but we're gonna hop into all the details today. This is the Soft Kink HD unit from Finger Comer. I got this unit back in 2020, y'all. So it's been a minute since I've had her, okay? If you don't know about Finger Comer, they do sell natural hair wig units but they're completely synthetic, y'all. They're actually made perfectly to mimic natural hair to the T. Absolutely love Finger Comer. So make sure you guys check out my description if you want the link to the website. And all the units are pretty affordable as well. So it says here on the site that the Soft Kink HG unit is longer and more voluptuous. This awesome grab and go protective styling unit gives you the perfect work -fro look in an instant. She's voluminous, kinky soft, arrives ready to wear with care instructions. She looks so natural, you just might forget you didn't grow it yourself. Don't be caught on your next vacay without her. At this price, you may want to pack two. One that you can rock on the beach and wash the sand out of when you get home and one for your night out on the town. Now they also do have additional information here on how you can care for the hair and things like that. So I'm gonna leave that in the description as well for you guys to check that out too. This is a half wig unit type of feel. So you can definitely wear it with some of your hair out or you can wear it just completely with none of your hair out at all. How I used to wear this unit was with some of my perimeter of my hair being out. I'll braid up my hair and then unravel it so that it can match, you know, the front. Twist or braids can work either way, honestly. It's just as long as your real hair blends in with the unit, that's completely fine. So let's talk a bit about the pros and the cons of this hair throughout my experience since I really had it for a minute, okay? So let's first hop into the cons of the hair. I don't have many cons to be really honest with you guys. This is a unit that I actually didn't wear that much or that often compared to my other finger comer units. So she's still practically intact as far as the curl. So I really only have two cons. The first con is that the back of this hair does kind of tangle a little bit. Not as much, but it, it is there, so be mindful of that. And the second con I would say is that over time the curls don't feel as soft anymore. Um, it's probably because this is a synthetic unit, but they're definitely not as soft as they used to be when I first got the unit. So I wanna say definitely be mindful of that. I do store this unit in the exact same wig box that it comes in. Finger Comer does give you these kind of small like wig boxes with each unit that you order. Um, so I do keep that in there at storage. All right, so let's hop over to the pros of this unit. You can wear it multiple ways. Right now I'm wearing it where it's like a bang in the front and that's because I actually ended up cutting this unit probably like a month ago I cut it, like the front part of it because I just really wanted a different look. Um, that was my personal preference, but I did that and is so perfect to me you guys like it's giving me you know the look the vibe that i actually really want with a hair like this like with a hair texture like this just like big fluffy you know afro ish type of look you know looking like a lion or something like <laughs> but with how i used to wear it um because i was wearing my real hair out in the front I would just wear it kind of ticked off to the side, like, like a little side part. Um, that was actually really pretty as well. I'm gonna try to insert maybe a picture or something so you guys can see how I used to wear it. Also, this unit is really long and also voluptuous. Like they don't lie when they say it's voluptuous. So since there's only two combs on this unit, there's a comb in the front and then the comb in the bottom, you can either wear it where the long part is up here at the front and the short parts at the bottom, or you can flip it around where the short parts at the top. Right now, I'm wearing it the way it's supposed to be worn, where it's long at the top and short at the bottom, but I did end up cutting this unit as well, so keep that in mind. But I did end up cutting this unit as well, that's why you're able to see such 
you know the bigness up here at the top I kind of try to layer it a little bit as well when I cut it another pro is that this hair does not shed um, this is synthetic hair however it doesn't shed I've never had an instance where I'm wearing this hair anywhere and it's just falling out that actually just really hasn't happened for me and and the biggest pro is that this unit lasts so long if you really take care of it though however um i don't sleep in this unit i take it off anytime i wear it um i store it in the same box like i said that it comes in and that's it um until the next time i feel like i, I want to wear it and honestly that's the only reason why it still looks good because that's how i take care of it so i do recommend that with any synthetic unit especially from finger comber that you guys make sure you take care of it i myself i've never had to wash this unit so it's never been washed none of that um only because of the way i take care of it i also never went swimming with it or wet it or anything like that so i haven't had to take the necessary steps to you know condition it and stuff like that because the way I wear it is really light and that's about it those are the cons and the pros about this unit the price point of this unit is 108 on the website like I said pretty affordable y'all get you some finger comber wigs you're gonna love it I honestly get so many compliments on my finger comber units especially this one as well because it looks so realistic it mimics natural hair so perfectly and honestly i couldn't ask for a better wig out of all my times of wearing afro or wig units i've never come across a better type of unit other than finger comber all right so next i'm going to show you guys a quick close-up of this unit how it looks to date with me cutting it all so you guys can really get a nice picture of it If you want to see more videos like this from me, let me know in the comments and also let me know how you feel about this unit and will you ever try finger comber? Let me know. I want to know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.